Hey, what's up? This is your boy, Mr. Sonny James, coming to you once again from home in Los Angeles, California. This has been a series of videos designed to help you get going on a live stream. We know that many of you accomplished a lot with streaming during the early stage of the pandemic, and it's been dope to see you out there connecting with the virtual community. And many of you opted out because maybe you didn't even know where to start. In the previous videos, we gave you a detailed breakdown of items you'll need to get up and running and a walkthrough on how to set it all up. Everything from a simple setup using a mobile device and an inexpensive interface to a more elaborate, dedicated streaming studio, including two computers and a green screen. Today, we're gonna to talk a bit about how to set up the free Serato visuals for live streaming. The creative team at Serato HQ worked really hard on these, and I personally love them all. My favorite thing about how they've been designed is that they're modular, meaning instead of them being just one picture for you to stand in front of, there's multiple components that can be moved around and interchanged with other pieces from different packs. This way you have the option of customizing your look for more originality. You can download these packs at serato.com and click on Serato DJ Pro. Select the free stuff link and then free DJ visuals for live streaming. Let's get started with the Rocco Mansion scene. This is one of my favorites. First, you'll want to open OBS and start a new scene. I like to add my audio source first so I don't forget. Next, you're going to add an image source. Name it something related to your wallpaper background and then image number four from the Rocco folder. We'll follow the same process for the wooden deer panel. Add a source, name it, and then select number two. Next, we'll add our art gallery. This is the piece that really makes this scene pop for your viewers. Add another image source, name it, then select image number three and you should be good. I personally like to give my paintings layer even more movement by making them scroll. To do that, you can add a filter by clicking on the gallery source and either right click or just simply click filters. Then select the scroll option from the list. Set the speed you think works best for you and that's that. Finally, as in every pack, there's a DJ table that matches the style of the environment you're playing in. Add a new image source, name it something like wooden table, and select the first image in that folder. For me, everything lined up perfectly, but in the event yours doesn't, you may need to do some quick repositioning. Next, you can add your camera with the green screen filter applied, and then position it so it fits the way you want it, and off you go. Once you set up the first scene with these visuals, you'll likely get all kinds of ideas for ways to set up other packs and alternate using filters and some of your own pieces. Let's talk about the Serato Now Playing extension. There are tons of extensions to choose from on Switch for gaming, etc., and they can be seen or interacted with using a computer browser. Recently, we launched the Serato Now Playing extension. This will allow you to inform your audience in real time about which tracks you're playing and who made them. You can set this up by going back to your Twitch settings, select channel and videos, and go to extensions. You can search for Serato Now Playing in the search bar and it should be there. You'll need to link it in your serato.com account later and it'll give you a unique code to copy and paste there. For now, just focus on configuring it to your liking. There's several options here for positioning the overlay and changing the emojis and color scheme to fit your style. Once that's all dialed in, it's time to set it up in Serato. First, ensure you're on Serato DJ Pro 2.4 or above, then go to Settings and click the Expansions tab. You'll need to enable live playlists, but note, they won't work unless you're connected to hardware. You'll also need to be connected to the internet on your DJ laptop. Once you're ready to go live, select the History panel and click Start Live Playlist. Once you confirm that you want to start a live playlist, it'll take you to your Serato account on our website. Here's where you'll need to paste that code in from Twitch so you can do that now. Next, you'll need to edit the playlist details and make sure the playlist is public and not private. Otherwise, the audience won't see it. Now that you're all linked in live, everybody can train spot. So again, I hope this information is useful for you to provide the best quality streaming experience possible for your folks. Using both the free visuals and the Serato Now Playing extension, I've been able to produce both entertaining and dynamic content every time I go live. Even though venues are currently open in LA, I still get to experiment and play different music on my live streams, so I enjoy those moments a lot. I hope this info is useful for keeping your live stream production quality at a good level, and I want to remind you that we frequently update our channel with new content on a regular basis, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button and get all of our new videos when they drop. 
Again, my name is Sonny James, West Coast Artist Relations for Serato here in Los Angeles, and I look forward to seeing y'all next time.